Okay, hallo und herzlich willkommen zu Part 3 von Zero Quick Falls Chapter 2. Ich stehe immer noch vor der Katze. Ich habe mich mal schlau gemacht. Ich habe bisher auch bloß eine Meldung drüber gefunden und das muss wohl ein Bug sein, dass die einen einfach nicht vorbeilässt. Das muss ein Bug sein und muss einfach nur irgendwie schnell genug sein. Stand da. Ich bin aber nicht... Ha! Ja! Yeah! <lacht> Katze besiegt. Sarah passes the keycard to the concierge. Trying to leave without me? No, I just didn't know where you were. We should swap phone numbers. Yeah, I'm surprised we forgot to do that yesterday. So what's the plan for today? We're going to Connor Friedman's house to ask his wife some questions. Oh yeah, the supposed car crash victim. Let's go. Oh, der steht auf der Katze. Kann ich jetzt irgendwie an dem Blumenstrauß? Warum liegt das so ein Blumenstrauß? Dann muss doch irgendwas sein. Das, das, das sieht so offensichtlich aus, irgendwie. Ah, okay. Oh, was ist denn mit meinem Hals los auf einmal? So, ich würde sagen, wir steigen einmal ins Auto ein. Ich weiß nicht, wo der gute Herr wohnt. Ja, Auto ist ein guter Plan. Residence of Connor Friedman in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Schöner, langer Vorgarten hier. Ein großes Haus. Das war sehr reich, wie es aussieht. Oh, clearly Connor Friedman was doing well for himself. This house is enormous. Which makes it all the stranger he'd steal someone's car, right? I'm guessing that's his wife standing on his head. Yep, that's her. Let's go talk to her. Okay. Hallo, sehr geehrte Frau Friedman. Geh ich mal von aus. Ja. Mrs. Friedman. Yes? Hi, I'm Special Agent Walters, and this is Detective Fitzgerald. We spoke on the phone yesterday. Yes, we did. Please call me Leah. Of course. We've come to try to find out more about your husband. Yes, please come in from the rain. His office is upstairs, the door most to the left. If you want to learn about him, that's your best shot. Thank you, Leah. We'll talk to you after uh, we take a look at his office. Okay, das ist ein großes Büro. Oh, was ist denn heute mit mir? Das ist das erste, seitdem ich aufnehme. Meine Güte. Ach, das ist gar nicht das Büro, das ist Eingangshalle. Was haben die überall so viele Uhren hängen? Das war ja im Hotel schon so und hier hängen ja noch mehr. Ich meine, das ist ja manchmal so ein Stilmittel, so eine Uhr mit Zeitzone, keine Ahnung, New York, Berlin, was weiß ich, Guangzhou in China und ihr wisst, was ich meine, ne? Irgendwie, dass man so von verschiedenen Städten so diese Uhren hier hängen hat. Ja, Büro. Oh, hier ist ja ganz schön viel. Not too bad compared to the big mess I saw in Silver Creek Falls. Yeah, this should be a cleaner job, but it's gonna be tedious. We need to look through this stuff and see what we can find about this guy. Objective investigate Connor Friedman's office. Okay, also alles hier einmal durchsuchen. Erstmal einen groben Überblick. Bett, okay. Hat wohl hier auch manchmal seine Nächte verbracht. Ich würde es auch erstmal interessieren, was war da überhaupt, dass der so ein komisches Büro hier hat, dass er nachts in seinem Büro schlafen muss und dass der so viel Geld hat und sich so eine riesen Hütte hier bauen kann. Hm, it's locked. Oh, look at that. What is it? It's a small unframed painting, signed F. Holloway. I don't know the artist. Nor do I. It's a nice painting, similar, but nice. Here, I'll take a photo of it. Okay, erstmal von dem Bild ein Foto machen. Okay. A receipt from the Naughty Vixen, the, the entertainment. No prizes for guessing what type of business we are in. How much is the receipt for? A thousand dollars. Jeez, for one night. Receipt added to inventory. Also. Hab ich Vixen gesagt? Ich hab Vixen gesagt, ne? Weixen. Weixen, ne? Ich hatte das Wort bisher bloß in Hitman Absolution. Weixen oder Wixen? Weixen, ne? Weixen, ja. Weixen Entertainment klingt nach... Ich will nicht sagen Puff, aber nach halt so einer... Tanzbar da, ne? Du wisst schon. 1000 Dollar ist eigentlich eine Menge Geld, die er da ausgegeben hat. Hm, a lot of receipts from day loan places. Those fast cash joints or other scams. Why would a guy as rich as this need to use them? Maybe he's pawning off stolen goods. What business is this guy in anyway? Ja, das frage ich mich aber auch. His IRS file says he's a venture capitalist. Okay. 
could mean anything. Something's off about this guy. Ja, irgendwas ist hier etwas komisch. Hm, Stock Market Projections. These are from quite a while ago. Okay, also so Aktien vorhersagen quasi, aber schon einige Zeit alt. Aspirants, Toothpaste, Soap. This guy really likes buying in bulk, huh? Office equipment, all new and still in its boxes and wrappers. No, wow, there's a lot of it. Makes sense that someone who works in finance would need office equipment, but this much? This could supply an office like six or seven people. I guess this guy just buys stuff in bulk. Also, jede Menge Büromaterialien, alles mögliche finden wir hier. Kleidung, it's filled with clothes. New clothes? They look used. All men's were in the same sides. Must all be Connors. This is his own home. Why does he keep his clothes in a box? It's all very strange here. What's inside? Packing peanuts. A lot of them. Interesting. Oh, so a few nuts. I've just forgotten to get nuts. Shit. <laughs> Anything important? Just a hot dog wrapper. Okay, hot dog paper. Unmarked boxes. Shall we open them up? Go for it. It's a case of 2008 Paso Ropels Merlot. A few bolts are missing through. I think this is the same brand as we saw at the car crash site. Also, Weinflaschen, das ist ein Wein. Yes, I think so too. Also, jede Menge noch volle Weinflaschen hier, um es wohl seine Lieblingssorte sein. Books on finance and accounting. Und hier auch. Und eine Lampe. Und Books of Finance and Accounting. Und eine Blume. Und das war schon wird, weil mein Desktop in der Grund sich verändert hat. Interesting, not many people keep fire extinguishers in their own rooms. I wonder what this guy did here. Oh, look, what's hanging off the security ring of the fire extinguisher. Oh, a key. Talk about hidden some hiding something in plain sight. Okay, am, am Feuerlöscher haben wir einen Schlüssel gefunden. He kept the bed in his office. From what I could gather, speaking to Leah, they had been drifting apart. That's why she hadn't bothered telling the police he was missing. Going along business trips on short notice was pretty normal for him. Ja, also die beiden scheinen sich auch schon so ein bisschen mit der Zeit auseinander gelebt zu haben. Liegt hier eine Knarre auf dem Schrank? Ja, check out the gun. That's a fine piece. Have you checked the barrel? Yeah, he's you he he's used it before. He's used it? Okay. Clearly not your average businessman. Also eine benutzte Waffe hier. Das sieht aus wie ein erste Hilfe Kasten. Genau. First aid kit. Oh he has a lot of iodine, searing kits and gauzes. Looks like he's had to close a few gunshot rounds. Looks like Mr. Friedman had some interesting nighttime activities. Das sieht alles sehr interessant aus. Oh, look at this. It's a ring. It has a small insignia in the middle. Can you describe it? Yeah, it's two snakes on a halberd. Uh-oh. What is it? That's the insignia of the Spinola family. Spinola family? Big and important mafia family. They are running operations all over the east coast and midwest area. So you think he was working for the Spinola family? Most likely, one doesn't come across those rings casually. Either that, or he killed someone from the Spinola clan. If he did, he sure as hell wouldn't keep the ring as a memento for them to find. X. I got a guy who can tell me something about this in Trent. We can go after we're done here. Spinola ring added to inventory. Also der Ring der Spinola Familie, einer Mafia Organisation hier in der Gegend. Kein gutes Anzeichen, ob der da irgendwie hm, ob die Mafia vielleicht irgendwie noch was mit dem Autounfall vielleicht zu tun hatte oder so. Und was der allgemein für dubiose Geschäfte gemacht hat hier. Finden wir noch was interessantes auf dem Computer. The computer seems pretty devoid of files. I guess this guy just used it for emails. Sometimes you get lucky and find everything you need in one computer. I guess this isn't one of those cases. He's careful with his files, as he should. Äh, uh, kleinen Moment, ich muss mal kurz was trinken. Tut mir leid, ich weiß nicht, seitdem ich aufnehme. Ist mein Hals irgendwie richtig rau, keine Ahnung. 
So, das ist das gleiche. Ich glaube, wir müssen jetzt hier alles einmal... Ah, wir haben doch den Schlüssel gefunden, ne? Kommen wir jetzt hier in den Schrank rein? Tatsächlich. There we go, the key worked. There's a letter inside. Go on, read it. Read letter, ja, dann ich mal den Brief lesen. Franklin Board, Board from Pharmacortical. Letter edit to inventory, ja. Yeah. So, Board Pharmacortical. Dear Mr. Friedman, it was a pleasure meeting you and discussing business. Please bring this card to collect your sample pack. Also irgendwelche Medizin hier hat irgendwie hm, ja, ein Geschäft mit irgendwelchen Medizinern gemacht und da sollte eine Karte, um ein ja, Probepaket zu bekommen, sollte er die mitbringen. Weiß nicht, ob wir die Karte irgendwie vielleicht noch finden oder irgendwelche Rückschlüsse hier machen können, aber ich glaube, jetzt müssten wir hier wirklich alles gefunden haben. I think we have some questions for Leah. Ja, das glaube ich auch. Ist hier unten noch irgendwas Interessantes? Nee. Können wir zufällig noch in die anderen Zimmer rein? Oder hier? Bücherregal, gibt es hier was Schönes? Nein? Was ist denn hier? I thought you guys were done investigating. Ja. Ja. Will die uns jetzt überall anquatschen hier? Ja. Ja, wir sind vielleicht doch noch nicht ganz fertig. Ich will mich noch ein bisschen umgucken, ne? Nicht, dass wir irgendwie was übersehen oder so. Hier ist auch nichts. Gut. Ich denke mal, dann wird die uns bestimmt auch nicht hier unten in diese Türen reinlassen. Ja, okay. Haben wir hier was Schönes? Ne. Läuft bei ihr irgendwie auch Sport oder so. Tisch schön gedeckt für zwei Mann. Liegt hier. Saren will das have Kaffee and Cookies. Oh, hat mal schön Kaffee und Kekse zusammen gehabt. Und hier lässt sie mich auch nicht schreien. Hier finden wir auch nichts. Okay, Lia. Hi Lia, we have some questions for you. Sure, ask away, sweetie. What was your husband's profession? He's a hedge fund manager. Okay. Do you know how, do you know of or have you met any of his clients? I'm afraid not. Connor never talked about his work and his home office was soundproof. Actually, when I came to live with him, he said the one rule in the house was that I was never, I was never to enter that room under any circumstances. If something has happened to him, the answer would be in that room. Interesting. Have you ever been to his city office? Do you know where it is? Nope, I don't think it was in Philly though. Why not? If I ever called him because of an emergency, he'd always be at least an hour away. Interesting. You never thought all this was a bit suspicious? Initially, I thought it was just because he hated his job. I, if I am perfectly honest, I'm just guessing he's a hedge fund manager. I really don't know. What makes you think he's a hedge fund manager? Well, I overheard him once talking over the phone. He was saying, it's a temporary slump in the market. Don't worry, your shares will rise again. It was the only time I have ever heard him saying anything work-related. So you told me the other day that it was normal for Connor to disappear for a week. Yes. Has he ever told you where he's going? No. Was this his status quo since the beginning of your relationship? Not at all. When we started dating, it was almost like he was a mag magician. He worked for a few hours a day and made a lot of money. He was always free to take me to nice places and while he said he couldn't always travel, he was there for anything I needed. Even a year into our marriage, he was generally not that busy. Then when the financial crisis hit, it was like a switch was turned and he became another person. He would have to go on long business trips all the time and was never home. Did he change as a person? Yes, he became very distant, didn't talk much and was cold all the time. We didn't even slept in the same bedroom for a year. I'm so sorry to hear that. Was he ever abusive? Never laid a finger on me. He was just missing all the time and uncommunicative. Did he change physically in any way? Yes, he lost a lot of weight and became a lot paler. I tried insisting he see a doctor, but he never listened. I know this is a personal question, but how are your finances? Very fine. I mean, it's not like before when we could buy any luxury we wanted whenever we wanted. But it's not like we were in debt or anything. We did have to fire our maid through, which is why some parts of the house are so dusty. It's hard to keep such a large mansion clean. One last question. Did he ever mention anything about bald pharmacotical? 
now we normally buy the local pharmacy's in-house brand. It's all the same, isn't it? Thank you, Leo. We'll do our best to find your husband. Please do. As much as we have begun drifting apart, he's still my husband and I still love him very much. We'll do our best, Leo. Also, ja. Die Finanzkrise hat ihn ganz schön geschadet, so wie es sich angehört hat. Auch ganz so, die Beziehung ist ein bisschen auseinandergelaufen, hat sich sehr in seine Arbeit vertieft. Scheint irgendwie, wie wir es rausbekommen haben, vielleicht so das ein oder andere dubiose Geschäft gemacht zu haben. Tja, was ist unser nächster Anhaltspunkt, weil das Special Agent, weil das von jetzt danach trenden für diesen Mafia Family Ring da? Können wir irgendwie mit dir reden? Nee. Können wir ins Auto einsteigen? So, what do you think? I have a pretty good idea, but I still don't want to talk to my contact in Trenton to confirm it. You didn't want to mention the naughty Vixen. Didn't want to stay in the man's name without knowing anything. Besides, I have a feeling he didn't fool that bill for himself. Okay. Southward, Trenton, New Jersey. Kalte, regnerische Nacht. Ooh. Mal schon sagen, bevor wir in das Haus reingehen, verabschiede ich mich und ich hoffe, wir sehen uns morgen wieder.